Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. I'm sure some of you that uh, use herbal remedies like I do and have done for all of my adult life and part of my uh, teen years and all, but I'm sure a lot of you realize that herbal remedies are not one of those that uh, you take and say you have a cold and you say, oh, I'm gonna drink an herb tea and, the, and then the next day you're over the, herb, the, over the cough and the cold and all that. Of course, it doesn't work like that. Herbs work from uh, long-term use and, and being able to incorporate them into your daily diet and your daily lifestyle and all of that. Uh, an incident uh, that happened around 30 years ago, somebody very dear to me that lost their life uh, by putting their trust in the medical field and the doctors and all, uh, she was misdiagnosed and um, and mistreated and uh, and it led to her death and since that point on I have uh, made it my life's mission to uh, stay away from doctors and stay away from medical remedies and all kind of things like that and I began learning and growing learning about herbs and growing them and uh, of course growing them organically and uh, using them in my day-to-day -day routine in my day-to-day -day life and this this is how herbs work they work as a sort of a long-term synergistic effect within you know your daily life and in your health and all and what they do they boost your immune system they allow you to uh to stay healthier they allow you to uh, keep from getting sick as often as people who are not doing that type of uh, uh run and but one of the herbs that um, that I have used all my adult life and most of my teen life is uh, the cannabis herb. And uh, I've used it every day. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I don't consider myself a drug addict. I damn sure don't consider myself a criminal. And people who, like myself, that have used cannabis for long term like that realize the important effects of it as an herb, as, you know, as a day-to-day -to -day tonic, if you will, that uh, boosts your immune system and leads to good health. It's actually a, it's an immune booster. It boosts your health to a level that uh, for the most part, you don't catch a lot of these diseases and things that are going around. And this, you know, when I decided that I had lost all faith in doctors in the medical field and all, and started using herbs and whatnot, I pretty much knew that uh, at some point we were going to have to be fighting for this herb to to make it become legal so people can use it and it's a matter of your own choice this is my choice to use this herb i believe it helps my health i believe it's uh, very beneficial in, in more ways than just medicinal i mean it does have a lot of medicinal attributes and all of that but uh, its real effects are used as a long-term type of uh, substance that you can take as an, that is an herb. I mean, you use it as an herb, just like any of the other herbs that you want to use or make teas out of for, to prevent whatever. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of them out there. And um, this plant in itself is very unique in the fact that it is not only an important herb, but it also, the plant materials and the things that come from the plant also produce lots of products and textiles and stuff, which is, is not unique to just this plant, but the variety that this plant, the products that it makes and the number of products it makes and the type of oil and resin that it produces is unique to it. And, uh, and it out, outstretches any other herb or plant for that matter on the, on the planet Earth. And it's from this standpoint that I believe that we can get this law that's been against cannabis and cannabis use for a long, long time and reincorporated with the Controlled Substance Act in the early 70s by Crooked Nixon. But I believe this is one area that we can get this law changed because it's not anybody else's right to decide who is in charge of my health care and how I approach it and all. And I really do know and believe that the cannabis herb has been a very important herb that I've had in my diet. And it's not anybody's business or right to tell me that I can't use that to keep my own health going good. What I see works good for me. And everybody's different. I'm not saying that it might work that way for everybody, but I know a lot of people that use the cannabis herb and have for a long, long time, and they've seen these same effects from it also. Yes, it does have short-term cures and it does make you feel good. And when you're not feeling well, if you're down in the dumps and all that, you can smoke a joint, sure, it brings you back around, makes you forget about the things that you're worrying about and even why you're upset. But it's the long-term use of it that really gives you that, 
that immune boosting properties and this is this is where the law fails the people this not only that that it's wrong that it's constitutionally you're right and that you know we create so much criminality by having this law we make criminals out of people that are not criminals like myself i'm not a criminal i've never stolen from anybody i've never murdered anybody never hurt anybody never done anything that was against the law other than smoke pot and i never really I thought the law was ridiculous, just as, as everybody else out there that smokes it. We don't understand it. Y'all y'all have alcohol legal. People can go and get booze this afternoon at the liquor store down the street. They can be drunk before dinner and passed out before bedtime. Y'all don't care. I mean, why are y'all so concerned about people using this herb? It's very safe. It's never killed anybody. We've stressed that over and over. All it does, it leads to cartels and gang violence and murders and stuff like that across the border. We spend over $100 billion a year not only trying to catch cannabis, but along the border, the border patrol, the border wars going on down there, and also in the justice system and housing all the pot prisoners in jail. We, we take up valuable space that actual criminals could be using, and they're, as a result of that, hardened criminals that are in there for you know heinous crimes like murder and rape and child molestation and stuff they're given reduced sentences because we have to make room for the potheads and this is just insane i mean this is the most insane behavior that any country has ever exhibited ever this is this is worse than the than the the dictatorships around the world that we have deemed so hateful and so horrible i mean and we're doing this to our own people we sprayed Paraquat on pot that we knew our own people were going to smoke. Our own government did that. It's an herb. And its long-term usage is what gives you the benefits. It gives you that, that boost in your immune system. And, it, and I encourage all of you to please, you know, you don't need a doctor to do this. This is something that uh, is, is no different than putting basil leaves on a tomato sandwich, you know, with, with your lunch and all. It's no different than that. And it can be grown this, grown just as easily. So let's let's stress this point to people. You know, it's our God-given right to use an herb and also to seek the path of health that we choose that is right for us. I don't have any faith in the medical field, and I thank God that he did make the, the cannabis plant because it, it is a wonderful medicinal plant. It's a wonderful herb. It's a wonderful textile. And it's one that we should be using and incorporating, not bastardizing and trying to criminalize and trying to make everybody out there that's smart enough to use it a criminal. Join us next time on the Cannabis Corner.